fuck are you doing? We're um, we're celebrating getting a hundred thousand subscribers. That means nothing. Get a job. So last. Thursday at right about midnight, this channel officially crossed over the 100,000 subscriber mark, which I realize in the world of YouTube where people are casually passing a million all the time, that's not a huge deal, but it is to me. See, this happened at right about June 2nd, 2017, and on June 2nd, 2011, I officially started making YouTube videos. That was the day I released my first one and announced that this is what I'm doing now. And for that first year, 2011, the videos were pretty much weekly. There would be a new one every Wednesday. I stuck to that schedule. And at the very beginning of 2012, I moved to New York City and things changed a bit. The video just stopped being weekly. For the next several years, they would come out every maybe three or four weeks. I just wasn't concerned with a schedule and I accepted over those years that the channel was never going to be really successful. See, what would happen was we would have individual videos that would be big hits, they would get a ton of views and media attention, but we would have very, very small audience growth. So to me, the way this was going to go was that at some point, one of these hit videos would lead to new opportunities off of YouTube, and so this would really just be like a stepping stone, a platform I would leap off of and then go do something else. I loved making YouTube videos, I loved the platform and the medium and the immediate audience response and interaction, but I knew this was not gonna be like a long-term career. I was not ever going to be really successful at YouTube. The big lesson here came in 2015 when we released what will probably always be the most successful video on this channel, what if Wes Anderson directed X-Men? The whole team and I put a ton of time and effort into it. I put a bunch of money into it, banking on the hope that this would be a big hit and would lead to new cool opportunities. And it kind of worked. So because of that video, I got brought in for all these meetings with different companies and with producers, and it really seemed like this was it. Like I was about to jump off and start directing like web series and stuff with budgets. And so we just really slowed down making the YouTube videos because it seemed like whatever, you know, we're gonna be doing cooler stuff with real money. And then just about none of those panned out. All the projects fell apart for various reasons. So suddenly we were back where we started and I was confused about what to do next because I'd already made, you know, the most successful video I was going to make. I had no other ideas that were like as, as surefire hits as Wes Anderson's X-Men. So we made videos through 2016, but still, like, uh, you know, I was not sure, you know, what the future of this was. Around the fall, in September and October, I just kind of took a break from making videos, just kind of step back and reevaluate, like, what did I want to, you know, do with this after spending so many years making YouTube videos with really very little to show for it. And, um, and in that time, I, uh, <laughs> I watched a lot of Casey Neistat videos. I was really inspired by the work ethic and the insane schedule and the quality filmmaking behind them. And I started to think, hey, what if I approach this a little bit differently and started being a little less concerned with uh, trying to make every video like a potential viral hit and you know, paid more attention to just consistency and releasing stuff on a regular schedule. And I realized that you know, I couldn't keep making every video an ambitious, like, narrative cinematic short, because those usually take more than a week to make. So I realized, okay, I'll, uh, I'll start adding, like, vlogs where I talk about filmmaking. I'll try my hand at a video essay. So the first week of November last year, I started doing this new, like, push for weekly videos. And right around this time, I, on a whim, because I got an email about it, decided to uh, apply to YouTube Next Up, the program where they, like, pick 16 channels and bring them to the YouTube space for a week to like train them to make like, you know, better videos and then like fund them to buy new new equipment and everything and I got in. And that kind of validated my thinking. I was like, all right, you know, YouTube thinks I'm okay at this. So, so maybe I should like take this a little bit more seriously. And so between that and then immediately the, uh, the Marvel color grading video essay like blowing up, which was a shock to me. I thought no one was going to watch that thing and no one would care. Like for years, I was like, no one wants to watch me go on these nerdy monologues to the camera about filmmaking. No one's going to give a shit. And, uh, and suddenly people gave a shit. Anyway, this leads us up to where we are now. It took five and a half years to get to 18,000 and then seven months to get an additional 82,000. But what's really amazing about it to, to me is that you, you guys watching this, 
you're actually you're interested in it and you're enjoying the stuff that we're making because this whole channel is pretty much just the stuff that I'm interested in are excited about are and thinking about just you know filtered through the lens of like genre movies and comic books and stuff like that and um, and suddenly a hundred thousand people want to watch that like that could fill can't that like fill a football stadium whatever anyway this is amazing and I really truly sincerely want to thank you guys for uh, for watching but the main thanks that I want to express is to the brilliant team of my friends and collaborators that I've worked with on the vast majority of videos on this channel so a lot of the stuff this year like the video essays I've made totally by myself and the amount of that stuff has been largely due to scheduling things and me being out of the city a lot but I would say 80% of the content on this channel have been massively collaborative efforts with my team of writers and actors and crew members. Like, the channel, it has my name, but dozens and dozens of people have worked with me to help make all of this happen. They're really great and really talented, and I love working with them, and I really want to thank them for everything over the years. And so after several months of me being out of town a lot, I'm finally just back in the city full time all the time and so we can get back to making more of the like the cinematic short films and and weird narrative things that that I really love making the most and of course things like the video essays are not going anywhere so while there's all these videos where I talk about filmmaking now there will be more of the videos where I actually do filmmaking which again that's what every video on this channel was until, like, the end of last year. So it'll be the best of both worlds. I'm really excited about the stuff that's coming soon uh, and that we have in the works. It's gonna be a really fun summer. So I used to think 100,000 for this channel was impossible, and here we are. So who knows? Maybe, maybe we could actually hit a million at some point. Probably not, but I've been wrong before. So again, thank you for watching. I hope you stick around and enjoy the, the rad stuff we've got coming up this summer. And um, I will see you next Wednesday. And maybe, some point soon, this guy could come back.